Hi, this is Ray Herdlicka with Bid My Bail. We are sitting once again in the studios of Crime Justice in America to talk to you about Bid My Bail and the parts of it that are most important for you to be able to succeed in getting that person out of jail. In a previous video blog, we talked about the answer to the question, do I need a cosigner to get somebody out of jail? Today, we're going to talk about what type of cosigners and how many cosigners do we need? All right. The first question is, how many cosigners do we need? Let's answer the second one first, okay? That depends upon the size of the bail. It's obvious, of course, but with a couple of nuances here, okay? $10,000 bail, we've used that example many times in previous video blogs. $10,000 bail, if you have somebody who's a immediate family member, you're more than likely, and they have a good job, I'm putting that caveat here, and they have a good job, you're probably going to be able to get that person out of jail. Now, if you get up into the twenty or thirty or forty thousand dollar bonds, you're going to need more than one usually. Usually, not all the case. Depends on that person. So, you need a hundred thousand dollar bond. I can remember in the old days, wrote a hundred thousand dollar bond with fourteen cosigners. Fourteen. They were all relatives. They all had jobs. They were all working for a period of time, a decent period of time, five years or more. Okay, I felt comfortable writing that bond, hundred thousand dollar bond at that point in time. In today's world, it's even more competitive. Let me tell you. So, you might be able to get a fifty thousand dollar bond written with one, yeah, two cosigners. Hundred thousand dollar bond. You're going to need some pretty good cosigners. And we already talked about the money, but we're talking about cosigners today. Now, each of those cosigners have to have some ability to pay the bond if they if the person doesn't go to court. Okay? So you're not going to be able to have a cosigner that says, well, you know, they haven't worked in five years, but they used to do this. No, that's not really going to cut it, okay? Probably going to be able to use that person as a reference, but not as a cosigner. Cosigner has to have a job. They have to be able to work. And the longer they work, the better cosigner they are. Of course, you know, it's obvious. The more money they make, the better cosigner they are. So you want to be able to have the combination of number of cosigners, commensurate with the size of the bond and you want to have the quality of those cosigners and the relationship to the person in jail. Remember we've talked about this, immediate family members are best. But if you don't have that, then you want people who have been working for a good deal of time at their job, making decent money, and they have a job that they're going to stay at. You know, I hate to say it, but if somebody works at a fast food place, they can go down the street or down to the next town over and work at that food, fast food place. So you don't want, you want somebody that has some time.